Earth's open spaces are ever-changing and evolving. Are they everlasting? Places that have been revered and valued, often for conflicting reasons? Nature's beauty and bounty, are they as compelling as they are competing? Conservation, how do we protect and use our natural resources responsibly to ensure man's survival within the ecosystems we collectively call home? Questions, to be sure. A community embraces these challenges in search of answers, in a refounding of their centuries-old traditions. Here, on the banks of the Shenandoah River, in the shadow of Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains, it's a race against time. The place is called Cool Spring, once a seasonal home to native peoples, settled centuries later by Europeans. Territory surveyed by young George Washington. A Civil War battlefield where hundreds took their last breath. Sacred ground, to be sure. The community is a Cistercian monastery now owned and cared for by the monks of Holy Cross Abbey. I came here in, in 1977. It was, uh, to say the least, a very different world inside and outside. You enter a particular community. It, you don't kind of enter monasticism in general. And I, I think that the fit felt very good for me at the time in the sense of the simplicity of the place, the, clearly the closeness to nature. The monastery is a very special gift to all of us who live near there. A lot of folks come out there to the monastery to walk on the grounds. It's a safe place that uh, you're quite comfortable in. It's a place to recreate. It's a, a sense of place that, that um, it's like home. It's like that welcoming sense of home. In the early days when I would ride over that land, on my horse, I, it's just, it, it was just an amazing experience. It's ethereal. You just look out at it and you feel a oneness with it. This beautiful place and peaceful community face an uncertain future. Their way of life is in jeopardy as numbers dwindle and the fate of the land rests with the whims of future owners. But it's their way of life that somehow contributes to the fragility of their future. In the fall, as the days grow shorter, the monks of Holy Cross Abbey still rise well before dawn. We start the day early. Most people get up around 3 a.m. We're praying by, together by, by 3.30. Even our life of prayer falls into what we call liturgical seasons, which fall into step with the natural seasons. And you come to live in a, in a place like this, and you become so much more aware of your setting, of the stars, of the animals, of the, everything that changes with, with the seasons. At 3.30 a.m., that's when your day begins, in absolute silence. There is never any communication, even by signs or whatever. So 3.30 to about 4.15 is in choir, chanting the Psalms, listening to the reading of scripture and the church fathers and the edifying light of the saints. This daily ritual goes back centuries. These monks belong to an order directed by the rule of St. Benedict. They have been living and praying together this way for nearly a thousand years.